Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership. Three string cigar box guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Nobody Knows You When You're Down and Out. This is the Eric Clapton off the Layla album version. So, boy, that's a lot to spit out. The Layla album was the first time I had ever heard this. So that's the version I know, and that's the one I always play. The song is an A on that version. It really doesn't matter how you do this. I really do like the voicings of all the shapes as this song goes through this way. We're not going to do any of the solos in this. We're just going to focus on the chords, the changes, and how uh, the chords walk up the neck and walk down the neck. I think that's really, really important for you guys to learn that. And if for, for you more in intermediate and advanced players, this song is a great platform to uh, solo over. Very, very fun. Definitely listen to the, uh, the album Layla for that. This is in the same key. You can play along with the record. So without further ado, I'm going to play the intro. I'm going to play two lyrics, and then you'll about have it. So here we go with the intro. Once I lived a life of a millionaire Spent all my money Lord, I did not have a care Took all my friends out for mighty good times For bootleg liquor, champagne, cocaine, and wine Then I began to fall so low Lost all my good friends Had nowhere to go I gave my hands on A dollar again I hang on to it Till that ego grins Nobody knows you Alright and that gets you where you need to go. You can see how it's working. But what do we got going on? Three strings, G, D, G, 42, 34, 24. They're wound and they are electric. I'm playing through my Roland Mini Cube on the clean setting. It's on the Brit Combo. And I have minimal gain and I have the tone all the way up. Just to let you know what I'm doing, it's pretty much standard for my acoustic stuff is to keep that same tone, and I'll show you what that looks like later at the end of the episode. So the song is an A, but how do we know where we are? So at the nut, G, open G, G sharp, A, important, B flat, B, important. C, C sharp, important, D, important, D sharp, important, E, F, F sharp, and G. You're also going to want to know that G, G sharp, and A, that A is going to be very important. Same with this G, so that you can get this turnaround, this. All right, so you just need to know what those notes are. And I'd rather you learn the notes than the numbers, but I know it's really easy to explain with numbers, so we'll do both. And uh, when you learn the notes, you learn them by osmosis rather than just beating yourself over the head with a bunch of notes. Songs in A. So it goes from A up to C sharp. It's really a C sharp minor, but as we've talked about before, minors are implied. Okay, with a three string guitar, you only have three notes. You actually have only two because you have a C sharp and a G sharp. And this is just an octave note. So you really only have two notes. There's no way to make a minor. Now you can do this and put that, put your pinky on E, but I don't feel it's necessary. And I'll tell you why. It just doesn't add anything to the song. So if it doesn't add anything, I suggest not even doing it. So don't worry about it. So A, C sharp, and you can see between the dots where I'm at, it's 666, six, six. and this is an F sharp. 
And how you make an F sharp is the same way you make a G or a G sharp or an A or a B flat or a B or a C or a C sharp or a D. Okay, it's this shape. So an F sharp, okay, is a C sharp, F sharp, and C sharp. So with this shape, I can go F sharp, F, E, D sharp, D. D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C. C sharp and D again. And I can keep going up and down the neck with this shape. So it's A, C sharp minor, F sharp. Then it's B minor. And you can actually add that D note if you'd like. F sharp minor, D minor, uh, B minor, sorry. And from B, you're going to walk up to D. And I like the... And I go down with my pick when I'm doing this, but you could certainly go back and forth. And that's why my hand is in this position. So now I'm going to replace my pinky to make D. And I'm going to add my second finger on that D sharp, but I'm not going to change those two strings. And that's it'll sound like so. And then A. And this A is going to look like 979. Nine. And we're going to walk A down. A, G sharp, G, F sharp. So I want to show you where we're at so far. A, C sharp, F sharp, B minor, F sharp, B minor. Now we're going to walk up. D, D with that D sharp. A, back down to F sharp, B. same shape we've been working with, except it's down here on 4-2-4. Four, and then I'm going to walk up G, G-sharp, and A, C-sharp, F-sharp, B minor, F-sharp, B minor. We're going to walk up to D now, D, D with the D-sharp, A, G sharp, G, F sharp, B, no minor now, and E, and we're going to walk up to A, and then this whole thing starts all over again. So that's how that goes. In the intro, the intro, you start out with A, you go to the C sharp, and then you go to the F sharp, then you go to the B the E, and then the A, and here's the turnaround, okay? So this third finger is going to come up to 14, and your first finger is going to come here to 12, and you're going to go, and you're pinching both strings, so this one and this one, right? So you're pinching, you're going down with the pick on your bass string and pulling up on your lightest string, and then you're going to walk down However you decide to walk, if you decide to walk with your pinky on that or your third finger, either way, you're going to have to end up here. So that's a giant stretch, and you're going to have to work on getting your stretches. So it is 14 and 12, 14 and 11, 14 and 10, and 14 at 9. So I always use my third finger and then switch. And it seems more difficult that way. It really does. And I don't know why I do it that way. I just do. It's the way I was taught and I just work around it. The ending. So the song has an outro and it's a different outro than any I've ever heard. And so let's go through one lyric and then we'll go right into this outro and I'll show you what I mean. 
So, uh... B minor, F sharp. B minor. We're gonna walk up to D. D. D sharp. A. G sharp. G. F sharp. B. And this is the outro. B, B, B. C, B, then E, stop, then the turnaround. Okay, so this little turnaround you're going to use at the end. And from there, you're going to go E, F sharp, G sharp. So it sounds like this. And you can always use the A7, which is 14, 14, and 12. This is a really, really fun tune. I put it, uh, if you're going to sing and play this and get it all the pieces together, I put this in as a solid intermediate. I also said I would show you my mini cube. And uh, so here we go. This is my mini cube. And these are the settings so that you can see them. Like I said, I like that Brit combo. It's more like a Vox, chimey sound. Gain is very low. Tone is all the way up. No effects. So there's that. I'm Uncle Mark. This is the Mothership. We do have a PayPal link down below. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark tips. A buck a show is all we ask. Thank you so much for your donations, your support, your um, sharing online. That's really important. I thank you all so much for you sharers. Sharing online and sharing into Instagram and doing all those things are really, really important. And I thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm on Facebook a lot. So I have a Facebook channel just for this Cigar Box guitar, and it's Cigar BX Blue. So just think Cigar Box Blue without the O, no O. So Cigar BX Blue. I'm also on Instagram at uh, Uncle underscore Mark underscore Cigar underscore Box underscore Wizard. So you can find me there. And thank you so much for all the support, all the good vibes, all the things you give me. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you all so much. Another lesson coming. <laughs>